Well, it's football season. You know how much I care about football? Not at all. But, my friend Terry, on Twitter, he's at TManRescQ, the letter Q. He suggested tailgate food. And my friend Sharon on Facebook also suggested tailgate food, and they came up with some great ideas. So, even though I don't care about football, I do like the idea of tailgating. So we're going to do some tailgate food tonight. Oh, when the Saints go marching in. Oh, when the Saints go marching in. I want to be in that number. When the Saints go marching in. Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host, and tailgate gourmet du jour, I'm Sean. Tailgating, I don't really care much about football. Sport ball and all the crap involving athletics. Here's how I play ball. Fetch. Good boy. That's not fetch. That's fetch, good boy. This is me, how I work out with weights. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, good workout. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> this is how I do yoga. Hunting. Hmm. As all good chefs know, before we start cooking, we need a drink. Tonight's drink is not exactly a masculine icon. We're going to be making Rose Kennedy. Rose Kennedy, doesn't it just sound fabulous? It's pink! Yay! Here's how you make it. Ice, obviously. I might have to do a hot drink episode. That might be a good idea one day. Oh, by the way, I have a live studio audience. Vodka! One can never have enough vodka. Well, actually, one can have quite enough vodka. A little bit of uh, soda water. Yes, this is a variation on my vodka and soda theme. Cranberry juice, just a splash. And lime juice. I'm just lazy, so I'm just using bottled lime juice. Then we have a delightful pink drink that I call Ruth Kennedy. Why is Josh asking what blood type I am? All right, anyway, let's get cooking. What could he possibly do with that information? All right, I'm gonna start with the shit that's gonna take the longest to cook. We got a whole chicken here. It's like five bucks, how cheap is that? We're gonna debone it. I'm not really good at deboning chicken, so it should be entertaining. How do you debone a chicken? Well, you get a chicken and a knife and you play with it until all the bones are gone. Pretty much. First you fortify yourself for the surgery. I'm going to put the chicken with the backbone up and start from there. Alright, so I'm making a slit down the back of this thing. And now we're just going to blunt dissect it because there's no vegetarian way to do this. Membranes. Chicken spine. Oh my god, that looks like something out of a friggin' horror movie. Hannibal Lecter is my hero. If you know how to do CPR, then when you hear bone snapping, you know you're doing it right. How scary is that? Rip the meat off and stick it back in the chicken. Fava. Fava beans. Not falfa beans. You were an accounting major? Mm -hmm. You didn't learn how to skin people alive? Well, that's the honor of rest. That totally looks disgusting. Oh, it's my other friend, Nat. He's looking for a place in the prequel to my book. We don't just have a deboned chicken. That would just be boring. We're going to stuff it with boudin. Boudin is a type of pork sausage that you can only get in Louisiana. Sausage, of course, is in a casing, which is made from pig intestine. That's always fun. Take your casing off of the boudin. Take the casing off of the boudin and put it in the chicken. Put it kind of back together so it looks sort of like a chicken again. <clears throat> oh, get your own show if you don't think this is tailgate food. 
So, a needle pulling thread. All right, my boneless chicken is not working out the way I hoped it would. Definitely defective, this twine stuff. Look, see, it's not enough. Hospice corners. <laughs> Abby who? Abby normal. You want some Abby normal chicken? Really tired of dealing with it right now. I've got a lot easier shit to cook. Look! I have both wings on the same side. It's like a Picasso chicken. Thank you, Mark, for slaughtering our poor jalapeno pepper. Hey, you, you get what you pay for. I mean, really. We're gonna roast the jalapeno peppers. <coughs> and now we're gonna move on to a little bit of easier stuff that has less of a chance for an epic failure. Let's get some steak, some nice, decent, what is this, flank steak? I don't know, some kind of steaky thing. Slice it. We're gonna make some chili using our steak. Now we're not just gonna use steak, we're gonna use some ground beef in our chili. Just brown it, we don't have to cook it. In real life, my burners are red. Yeah. On the video, they look blue. Freaky. It's very weird. No, I've bled on here before, and it's red. Now we're going to do our chopped steak. Ash going to go in there too. Brown that a little bit. Not fully cook it. Chopped steak on the side. We're going to get some diced tomatoes. Pop that in there. Alright, now this is going to be part of our chili. So we're going to add some hot stuff. Let's add some red pepper flakes. A little bit of cayenne pepper. Remember, we're not just seasoning this little can of tomatoes. We're seasoning all of this meat, the whole dish and some cumin. <laughs> cumin. Throw a little parsley. Why not? Part of the garlic is not part of the trinity. What, have you been watching Emeril Lagasse again or something? Amaretto and Captain Crunch? Mm -hmm. That would be awesome. Yes, it is. We've got our ground beef brown and our steak that we sliced up brown. Add that to our tomatoey preparation here. Stir it all about. Anybody can make goddamn chili, but you've never made chili bourguignon. Let's get a nice burgundy wine. Oh fuck! Come on. Oh, it's a screw off tap top top. No wonder the corkscrew didn't work. How gauche. Or as Julie you tell, would say, Never cook with anyone who wouldn't drink yourself! <laughs> like that. Pour a bunch of that into the chili. How awesome is that? And we're just going to let that sit for a while. It's time for our sweet potatoes. Oh, motherfucker. Speaking of surviving, I am out of ribs, Kennedy. I am making you some as we... You are the bomb. Jalapenos, they're ready to come out, so now. And our chili bourguignon, we're not done with that. We're just letting that simmer for a bit to reduce all the liquid that's in there. And well, I, I'm not one to judge, and I, I totally am. I wouldn't know anything about the drunken Irish. Our giant phallic uh, Italian sausage, I'm circumcising the sausage. You can call me Rabbi Sean. Uncasing sausage is like taking the condom off. Now, whether Rose Kennedy ever used condoms? Apparently not. I kind of doubt it. Just chopping up some green onions. Those are going to go in the chili. Just because, why not? All right, now we're going to make some sliders. First, we're going to make some grilled onions and green peppers. It's just a little bit of olive oil, just to give it a little greasy sheen. Greasy sheen, Charlie sheen, whatever. Here, we're going to make some mashed sweet potatoes. Whole milk, right? That's a whole milk. Real fucking butter. Way more mashed potatoes than we actually need. Bacon, not turkey bacon, huh? Real bacon, not turkey bacon. That's the way If you want to make turkey, then make fucking turkey. Don't use your fucking turkey bacon. We're going to make some sliders. Italian sausage sliders. Just grab it down. Oh, shit! 
Why do they call it sliders? Ah! I'm sure there's some very pedestrian explanation for it. Chili is coming out very nicely. We've got two different kinds of sliders going on. We're going to get some nice steak. Sirloin tip steak. Okay, sure, why not? For all you vegetarians out there. Not so much. Maybe your question best left to the ages. Take me home tonight. I don't want to go to a suicide. What's funny is I've been cooking all this shit and you have yet to eat one thing. Alright, now we got our mashed sweet potatoes. We're going to add some bacon to that shit. Oh, now you see how that goes. I was going to stuff the jalapenos. The, the jalapenos came out kind of crappy. I may have to alter my initial brain recipe. I was, I was going to stuff the jalapenos with sweet potato, bacon, and cover it with cheese. All of your basic tailgating food groups, but no. Instead, we're just going to do this get a fucking way. Rose Kennedy, come on, give me inspiration. See all these jalapenos we got here? Throw that shit into the potatoes. JFK, thank you for your mom. Oh, throw some wine in there, it's chili bug, you know. Let's make it special. So we're using some good old, just Creole red beans, creamy style. Creamy style, that's the... Selling point, special point, that's the, that's the Rose Kennedy point. A little interesting tidbit. My fourth cousin was Lee Harvey Oswald. Just saying. Let it rest. And the cookie sheet can just friggin' bake. Because I don't friggin' care anymore. Motherfucker! Ah! Way too much greasy shit on the floor. We're gonna make tailgate sliders. With the steak. Put some cheese on top of the Italian sausage. Mozzarella and provolone. And uh... <laughs> are you laughing at my intoxication ability? Maybe a little bit. Shut up. I'm gonna use my finest trinette. Sweet potatoes and jalapenos and you saw what I put in there. Shut up. Oh fuck. This is yours. It's Philly cheesesteak things. So let's get some peppers and onions and put them on there. Here, eat it. Because I'm tired of listening to you freaking peanut gallery me. Eat it. You like it? Is it halfway decent? Delicious. Mark mm. says it's delicious. Delicious. All we need now is a football game and a tailgate. So there's our there's our sliders. We made two different kinds of sliders with shit on. <laughs> All those chicken stuff with boudin. Our mutant freaking Frankenstein chicken is still in the oven. This chili burger on. Oh my god! I haven't tried chicken yet, but I know it's good because I've made that a bunch of times. God, everything is really, really good. Bon appetit. And adios. <laughs>